Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spratzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. College football free pick. We'll get to that. Hey, I hope you're with me this so far this week as we've gone 3-0 Monday and Tuesday. We'll look to cash again on Wednesday. We'll get to that in just a moment. First, a real quick note. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. And again, it all starts by clicking on that link below the video. All right, I mentioned 3-0 so far this week. We haven't seen you since uh, Monday before the two football games kicked off. We cashed our lone football play on Monday. It was our biggest play of the entire week, and we had the KC Chiefs uh, minus the points over Buffalo. KC gets the nine-point win. And uh, we're coming off a real nice football week in college football, we swept. And then in the NFL, we went 3-1, and one, including that six-star winner with the Chiefs on Monday. Love October and beyond football. We've got this card basically mapped out. I've got a seven-star in college football football going this week and I've got a six star in the NFL uh, we're hitting 60% with our last 100 top level plays college football in the NFL combined multiple card again multiple game card I should say again with the seven star with the six star and I'll tell you more about it on Thursday's video because we post those plays and release them on Thursdays over at DocSports.com as far as everything else uh, we mentioned one and on Monday that was the NFL and then on Tuesday we cashed in soccer and we cashed game one of the World Series. We had the over uh, between the Rays and the Dodgers. 11 runs combined. Total was seven and a half. We mentioned in the write-up real quickly, I'll, I'll recap about Glass now. One of the reasons that we like the over in the game is that you got that heavy-hitting Dodger lineup going up against a starting pitcher who was, by the way, I think left in about an inning too long. But besides that, it was a situation where you've got a starting pitcher uh, in uh, Glass now who has a hefty home runs per nine innings pitched uh, ratio. And the Dodgers got to him when he was left in a little bit too long, and we were happy about that. We cashed the over. So 3-0 and so far this week at All Sports. Here's what we got going on Wednesday. I've got Game 2 of the World Series. It goes on Wednesday, available on my homepage at DocSports.com. All baseball plays combined going back to the final few days of September. We are 14-6, and 70% winning tickets, up over $3,400 for $100 per unit betters. And these plays, these high-end plays that rate five stars or higher, are 10 and 4, and they are up over $3,600 in baseball for $100 per unit better. Six star game two in the World Series on a Wednesday, available over at docsports.com on my handicappers homepage. I've also got soccer where we're on uh, over the last oh, six or seven days. We're on a nice 60% winning ticket run after cashing on Tuesday. And my first play for Thursday's opening round action in the PGA, they're out at Thousand Oaks this week, uh, is available on Wednesday. And we are on a 26 and 4. 14 PGA head-to-head -head matchup run going all the way back to the 1st of August, picking up uh, easily over $3,000 for $100 per unit better. So those three plays are available on Wednesday, and we'll tell you more about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday's football package on Thursday's video. Let's get to our free play for today, and because there's not a lot of action, we're going to look ahead to early Saturday college football, one of our plays, and uh, we're going to recommend a play on Florida State plus the points over Louisville. We had Louisville as one of our premium plays this past week and they covered the big number against Notre Dame but here's the thing I don't like about Louisville first of all they come off a real tough loss that's always hard to get over and then if you look at the run defense they've given up an average of 172 yards rushing per game in the last four games and giving up over five yards per carry and at Florida State on the flip side they come off the big win they held off the charge by North Carolina excellent win for the Knowles Jordan Travis has been fantastic since he came in the game against Jackson uh, Jacksonville State a few weeks ago. He's got 605 passing yards on 60 attempts, so just over 10 yards per pass attempt. 251 rushing yards on 46 carries. Well, that's five and a half yards per carry. And as a team, total yardage last three games now that they found a quarterback who can get it done with his arm and his feet they're averaging almost 520 total yards per game and about 7.7 .7 yards per play i do believe that they'll be more i guess recovered and ready to go after winning a close hard fought game than louisville who lost a close hard foot a uh, close hard loss football game at notre dame so uh, we're going to recommend a play on florida state we think the number's a little bit too high here the nose plus the points our first play for the this upcoming week in college football. All right, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites at DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column.